we're not to false fall number two. I mean, there is a little bit of hope on the horizon, okay. but I'm not super optimistic on that. Okay. But we could have a cool down next week. In the meantime, we do have the East Texas State Fair. Look at this. All right. Temperature wise, we'll be in the mid 90s. Favorite fair food, Casey, go. Uh, you know, I just love an old fashioned funnel cake. All right. be fancy. Let's do a fried Snickers, you know? Love oh, them both. Yeah, yeah. Uh, both of those are very good. I like <laughs> the turkey legs. Those oh, are so good. Yum. But as you can see, temperatures will be in the mid 90s. So please do yourself a favor, folks, before heading out to the East Texas State Fair. Make sure you drink plenty of water because if you're going to be outside in the sunshine for a long period of time. That can weigh on you a little bit because we don't have relief in the forecast this weekend. It's a beautiful day, though, so we will take that in the positive column. 98 degrees was your high temperature at Tyler today. That's after a morning low of 72, 102. That's the record high set back in 1956. And as we look at the last several days of high temperatures, uh, this is ve very much a trend. You can see above normal highs for the 18th, the 19th and the 20th. And we got to 98 degrees, which will go down as the warmest day we have seen so far in the month of September here in Tyler. But the temperature they have been on the up and up, but they will begin to climb down just a little bit for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday as we do begin to see those high temperatures bottom out in the mid to upper 80s. So a little bit of relief, but still fairly warm and still fairly humid for us. We are in the 90s across East Texas. Longview's at 94, Marshall's at 95. We are now at 97 in Tyler. 97 is the current reading in Jacksonville. We zoom this out. We do have a ridge of high pressure that's in place over the Lone Star State, and you can see these showers and thunderstorms I was talking about at the beginning of the show. That tends to happen on the edges of the uh, high pressures reach here. But one thing I will be monitoring this weekend is this storm system that is trying to develop in Southern California and southwestern Arizona. And what this will do is it's going to follow the jet stream up to the northeast and will provide us with a front that will keep the those temperatures slightly cooler. Still some questions to be answered on the strength of the front and if it will give us a decent chance of rain. And there's another factor into next week and next weekend's forecast, and that happens to be in the tropics. 50% chance that we see a tropical cyclone develop somewhere in the Caribbean and the Gulf over the next seven days. So we will be keeping a close eye on that. I do think the eastern Gulf of Mexico does have to keep their heads up for this storm as opposed to the western Gulf. But regardless, things can change. We will monitor that and 75 tonight. Mostly clear, mostly sunny this afternoon or tomorrow afternoon. Sorry, 96 degrees. And as we look at the next seven days, Sunday, we're at 94 isolated shower possible Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday will be dry Thursday and Friday with highs in the 80s and deep east Texas temperatures will be in the 90s this weekend with a slight rain chance Tuesday and Wednesday day as we hopefully get a taste of slightly cooler air. Casey, hopefully that's all we're